Hey, howdy everybody, welcome back to my channel. Finally, Leprous has dropped their new album, Melodies of Atonement. I've really been looking forward to this one. I've loved all the singles so far. I didn't really like Aphelion, and I felt like it was it was really well done. I'm just mentioning that because that's the most recent album I've heard from them. Pitfalls is the other album I've heard from them. I've just heard those two. And I really like Pitfalls, but Aphelion I think was too minimalist for me. I think the melodies were a little bit too repetitive and they weren't really good enough, in my opinion, to warrant being that repetitive. But with this one, the singles that I've heard have been incredible. I've loved them. I think it's just the three, right? Silently Walking Alone, Atonement, and Like a Sunken Ship. Pretty sure it's just those three that were singles. But yeah, I loved these singles, dude. These were amazing. And now we have the full album. And I really hope that they left some of the really good out or the really good songs for the album because sometimes bands don't do that but we'll see very hyped for this very excited to after this eventually dig into the rest of their discography some of their older stuff let's get into this i'm excited this is leprous melodies of atonement also if you're watching this on youtube if you're watching the highlights video i'm gonna try to edit this down so it doesn't get copyright struck as much but we'll see because Leprous gets destroyed with the do copyright, it's, it's kind of crazy. I haven't gone back to any of the singles, because there's been other music that I've been going back to, and I wanted to save it for the full album, when I can listen to the whole album as one and go back to it like that. Oh, I forgot that it took a little break there. What is this album cover? Can someone tell me? It looks like microscopic something. Microscopic champagne glass with a blood clot. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh, Bard's drumming is so good. Oh, dude, this hits even harder on a second listen. Oh, yeah, let's go. Go watch my videos of these singles if you want to... If you want to see what I thought. This atmosphere is so cool. Oh, Bard's drumming is so good, dude. I'm going to say that throughout this whole album. But he's one of the most underrated drummers out there right now. Those little instrumental parts that make each song feel unique are really good on, on the three singles that I've heard. So we'll see if... The other songs on the album have some parts like that too. We're two for two on the songs hitting harder on a re-listen. That's a good sign for the rest of the album. Oh, that's so good. Alright, first new track. Let's see how this stacks up against the three great singles. Like a Sunken Ship is my favorite of the singles though. If they develop this, this instrumental hook is going to be great. It's kind of a little spooky. Okay. I think it was better than Atonement, but not as good as Silently Walking Alone and Like a Sunken Chip. The little like that part was great, though. Beautiful intro so far. Let's see how it develops. That's such a good melody. Those jumps are incredible. Sing it, bro. Uh, uh, that's melodically, that's the best thing on the album I've heard so far. Very good song. The progression was great. I wish it had developed a little bit more, like I do for most of Leprous' songs, but that's that's their style. So I'm not gonna fault them for doing their style. How can I be mistaken? I, I, I've only heard this song once. La, 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 la. But I remember like everything from it because it's so good. With two new songs heard now, in addition to the singles, this is still the best. This is one of my favorite Leper songs for sure. Yeah, this hits so hard. Oh, that's so good. It's so good. Banger. Let's keep going. All new songs now. Five new tracks. The second half of the album here. I like the swung ace on this, it gives it a pretty groovy feel. Mm. Okay. What are we building to? That song was... That was good. I think my main thing with Leprous and the reason I don't like them a lot is because 
the first half of their songs are really, really good. But then the second half, most of their songs, with the exception of like a sunken ship, I think most of their songs, the second half is just, it doesn't feel different enough. It doesn't feel interesting enough for me. It's kind of why I'm like, yeah, these are, these are good. Technically, the playing is really good. I think even with a few more listens, I might like the album even more. But on a first listen, I'm like, yeah, this this is good. But the songs just feel like they go on a little bit too long sometimes. And that's my opinion. Let's keep going. Ooh, a little upright bass. A little... A little this bass. I'm not the faceless now. Mm. Something about this vocal flow, like that specific thing, we repeat the thing like that. I don't like it. It just it feels very cheesy to me. I not not a fan of that. That that makes the song worse in my opinion. The rest of the song is good, but this this stuff I no. It's just a weird picky thing for me. But I don't like that vocal part. Don't like that. No, thank you. Stop! Stop doing it! Oh my goodness. Bro, they're torturing me at this point. Oh my goodness. Okay, that ruined the song for me. If it had just been that first part, and they hadn't made the whole last half of the song be around that, that like, repeating the same two parts like that in that lyrical cadence, if they hadn't done that, they'd done, they'd done something else for the end, that would have been one of my favorite songs. But now I don't like it. Inner's range is so good. He's got low stuff like this, and then he's got those extreme highs. You can't deny everybody in this band is talented, even though I don't always like the music that they write. Ooh. Okay. I like the switch between triplets and duples here in this song. It's going between, like, here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. There's like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It kind of switches between that. But then it'll have a good section like this, and it'll just keep going. Like, it's probably going to stay like this for the next minute and a half. Which is the kind of stuff I don't like. Okay, they're bringing back this. I take back what I said. This song is really interesting. I'm glad to be proven wrong. I think musically... This is the most interesting song on the album for me. Yeah, there's a lot going on there that I really, really loved. A lot of the song progression, I didn't feel like they stayed in the same section for too long. They kept adding on things that were interesting. That was a good one. That's one of my favorites. It felt like Lepers without being too much in the vein of Lepers that I don't like. I'm very middle of the road with this band. Some stuff I love, some, some, some stuff I can't talk to. Some stuff I just don't. It was a good album. I think this is going to be a grower too. I think I'll like this more as I listen to it. But that's something for me to update you guys later on. Very different, okay. What a weird instrumental part. This has been so different for them so far. Instrumental wise, like soundscape wise. Leprous's sort of song structure works really well with a track like this it almost feels like an interlude track even though it's six and a half minutes long but the vibe of it has that sort of in between slower sort of more floating in the void kind of instrumental track feel i like this one especially the weird speeding up and slowing down instrumental beep 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 boop part it's got a tron legacy feel to it Almost Daft Punk like. I think the floaty atmosphere actually really helped that song for me. I think it worked really, really well. Usually with Leprous' songs, that's the kind of stuff I don't like. But because the overall vibe of the song was really digging heavily into that, and it felt very synth like, and it had a sort of like ethereal, sort of floating through space kind of vibe to it, I think that worked really, really well. And I, I like that song. That's one of my favorites. He did the same vocal thing I don't like. They've done that before. I think I remember something off of Pitfalls having that. Like the holding on, holding on. I don't like that at all one bit. No, thank you.
Yeah, that album was good. I liked it. I didn't like it as much as Pitfall. I, I, dude, I can't talk. I didn't like it as much as Pitfalls, but I liked it more than Aphelion. I enjoyed how each of the songs had like a little hook part, like I'd mentioned more in the beginning, that kind of stayed the same throughout that made each song feel unique. So if you like remember a certain hook, you can like associate that with the song that it's from and then remember it just gives each song something memorable to make them stand apart. Like the last one was the broom 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 like that. Or like self-satisfied lullaby was the sort of tron electronic, sort of more synthy kind of thing that I that I mentioned. Overall, I I'm kind of mixed on this album just purely because every song felt like the same sort of progression. With the exception of Self-Satisfied Lullaby, which for the most part stayed in the more chill kind of vibe, it feels like they're doing the thing that they do and not really leaving that little bubble of things that they do. And I would like them to leave that bubble more, but also they do what they do really well. I just, I'm not the biggest fan of what they do. But it's not a bad album. This goes hard. I wish that they would do a little bit more, but also they're good at what they do. I just don't really like what they do. It's like the fifth time I've said that this time, this this video, but I'm just going to say it again. And that's my opinion. Go ahead, like the video, subscribe, all that other stuff. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for supporting me. I'll catch you on my next one. Bye-bye.